Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, I'm going to do a few shout outs here as I go along. Uh, first shout out I want to do is to Glass Dog Angle. Thank you for showing me this 360 degree uh, servo. It's a servo that's used for sail winches. And what I'm going to be doing here is using this servo to make a 360 degree Mobius pan tilt. And uh, the pan tilt I'm going to be using is made out of this plywood here. And it came from this company right here, FPVLR.com. And I got this idea from uh, a couple of sources. One was Dick Gibson, so shout out to Dick Gibson. And he has a nice little video on how it looks after it's installed. And also want to shout out to uh, Bonafide Pirate, who has some good videos, and he's tried uh, several of these uh, style pan tilts. So thanks to all those people for helping me out. It may be a little heavier than some pan tilts, but it totally encloses the Mobius camera so that uh, it's well protected. And I like that idea. Now I've already started spraying some of the pieces black here. And I'm going to coat the other side pretty soon. I'm just using some Krylon H2O Latex Superior Quality Paint. And the idea is I want to replace the pan tilt here on my video pod. This is for my Skywalker plane. I'm going to replace this pan tilt here with the Mobius pan tilt and a 360 degree servo. So that is the idea. It also has this little mount here that you can put a board camera on so you can have the Mobius and a board camera for FPV. So it actually holds two cameras and pan and tilts them both. Right now I'm using my new camera that I just got and uh, this is a Canon Vixia HF-R500. So just testing it out and checking that out too. And seems to be uh, it's got a pretty good focus on it. The autofocus works good. It's already switched to macro mode automatically. So it looks like it's working pretty good. It was on sale for $200 at Walmart. So I got the parts laid out here on a piece of paper in my handy dandy paint shed here made out of cardboard and I'm just going to go ahead and spray them. Starting with that top row there. I'm staying a pretty good distance away because I don't want to get a lot of blobs of paint on them. So that's pretty much it. Now we'll let them dry. So the pieces are all dry now. The black paint is dry. And I've started the assembly. I've already glued the pieces to the base here. And also to the tray for the camera. And I've used just some of this Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue. Nothing fancy, but it's really strong. So I don't think I'll have any problem with it. Now, I made a design change here. Originally, we were supposed to use these pop rivets, and there was going to be two of them sort of sandwiched inside the uh, hinge for the tray right there and sticking out either end. And then the mount was going to go actually be glued around those pins so it wouldn't be removable. Now I decided I wanted this mount removable so that I could access this hole here to, to loosen the servo screw because this is going to mount right, right here on the servo like that and I want to be able to get in that hole so I could pull this off. So to do that what I decided to do is I put a little piece of plywood in here and it's like eighth inch or something just fit in that crack and I'm going to go ahead and put the base on like this and then I'm going to use one of these metric M4 uh, 30 millimeter bolts right here and I've got a little piece of heat shrink over it just to act as a sleeve so it'll slide 
or turn easily in the hole. Didn't want the threads rubbing on the wood, so I'm and this also made it a little larger so it fits in the hole good. <clears throat> and I'm also going to use some of these locking nuts right here. So once I get it in there, I can lock it down. So that's uh, just a simple concept I'm going to use to modify this. Otherwise, I'm probably going to keep it about the same. So I put the bolt in through there. Now there's a little space here. And so there's just a little play, and what I'm going to do is I've got one of these nylon washers here. Now I don't know where I got these nylon washers. I've had them for years. I've got a box of them. But that just happens to fit good in that crack, so I'll put one of those in there. And probably some on the outside before I put the locking nut on. I plan on using uh, one of these Turnigy, uh Metal Gear servos. And there's the part number for it. I think it's 9 grams and it's a metal gear servo. It's just about the right size to fit right on there. Okay, so I'm going to build the box for the camera for the Mobius and I've got a little wood glue on my tab there. And I'll put that right here. Okay. Next piece I've got on is this right here. And then we'll put the bolt on this. Okay, so I'm going to put that piece up with a little glue. Get some on the side. Get a little piece of your rod glue on there. Cap. There you go. Next. Turn it around. Make sure these tabs are up. And put it on there. So I'm going to fill in these cracks. This glue. Don't worry about it. Go this time. Go around with the glue on all these sides. Alright. Put it off the stick. Now, I'm going to get this baby on there. Put all the tabs. Good. So here are the sides glued on. Just got that done, the sides and the front. And next I'm working on my servo while those are drying. Now the idea with the servo is I'm using this little metal geared servo. Like I said before, it's a turnigy right there. And when the servo is in its center position, I want to have a slight down angle on my servo arm. And I have put the little push rod keeper here on the second hole back. Uh, that's just up to the user. You know, the closer you have it to the middle, the finer the adjustment will be. And you'll have less throw, but you'll have finer adjustment. So I now uh, mounted the servo on here with some servo screws. One on each side. Holes were pre-drilled in the kit, so I didn't have to drill any holes and you can see my servo arm right there. So next thing is the wire that I was talking about. Now for the wire I've already made one right here and I used this picture that I got from uh, Dick Gibson as sort of a template and he had a wire that kinda went around like that and so I made one similar to that. So we have uh, the top arm here is 16 millimeters and then there's a 6 millimeter piece right here and then another bend to 8 millimeters and then 27 millimeters across the bottom. The difference between mine and Dick's is his ended right here whereas mine is going to go all the way through the base like this to the other side and that'll just give it a little more support. Now the wire I used is galvanized electric fence wire Unfortunately, it comes in a pretty large roll, so I ended up buying, uh, looks like 400 meters or a quarter mile worth. It's 17 gauge is what it is. It's a little bit bigger than a paper clip. So you've got the dimensions. Now all we have to do is basically feed it in through this hole right here on the servo keeper, the servo arm keeper, like that. And... Since it's got a screw, it's adjustable. Let's put it in like that. Okay, now let's hook it up to the Hobby King servo tester right here. And all I do with that is I connect it up to a two cell battery, two cell LiPo battery. 
I'm just going to plug that in off camera here. Okay, now it's on. I'm going to put it in the center position and then just plug in the servo lead. It can go in any of these holes. Okay, so there it is right there. And when I turn this, you can see the pan tilt moving. Let's put a little weight on there. There's the Mobius. I'll just hold it down there. It's looking up pretty high. Now I go this way. There's down. There's up. And it's fairly smooth. Seems to work good. So the next thing you can do is mount this little camera board on here if you have a board camera. People always ask me what I got on this camera. It's sprayed with Plasti Dip just to make it water resistant. But anyway, that would this little mount here is made to accept one of these cameras just like that. And then that can be glued right on here so you have both cameras. You can have your flight camera and your high resolution video camera at the same time. So the next thing will be mounting the base to the 360 degree servo. I'm going to sand off this flange with a little piece of sandpaper. So I'm going to drill out the holes with a hand drill here just to fit the servo screws. Now just uh, fastening the four screws to the base. Now removing the bolt so I can uh, take the pan tilt apart and put the base onto the servo. Let's pull the bolt out. Slide this out. And then once I get this set where I want it, I'll put the screw down in that hole. Here's how the 360 degree servo works. Now because this pan tilt servo can be mounted many different ways on various aircraft, I'm not going to cover that in this video. But I will have a part two to this and show you how it came out on my Skywalker and give a little demo. So if you got any comments, just leave them under the video. Don't forget to give me a like, a thumbs up or whatever, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching. Here,